Creativity changes the everyday. Creativity is beautiful. Creativity is active. Creativity is freedom. Alpha NEX5 debut. Sony. Well, Cocos Keeling Islands, I was just looking at a brochure now and it says breathe in, breathe out, wave goodbye to annoying bustling crowds, get far away from blaring noisy nightlife and artificial architecture. Welcome to your real tropical paradise that is Cocos Keeling Islands. And hello Jules Bush, how was that? Oh, yeah, that was brilliant. Pretty good intro, but it's, but it's from your brochure, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. So tell me now, where in the world is Cocos Keeling? Cool. Well, we're halfway between Perth and the Maldives, as I'm saying now. So, um, well we're, done. We're out there in the middle of the Indian Ocean, remote and tropical, and uh, welcoming people. Fantastic. You know, people have a sort of impression of the Maldives or the Maldives or whatever, Mauritius, all these places, mm. idyllic and so on. But most people have never heard of Cocos Keeling. No, no. And it's it's amazing. With the history of Cocos, I think, you know, it's just one of the layers that makes it so fascinating to come. So tell, tell me about the history. History. Well, I guess the most notable name that people associate Cocos with is the Clooney's Ross family. Ah. And they arrived in the 1800s yeah. and stripped the vegetation on the main atoll, mm -hmm. planted coconuts, went through to Asia, collected um, workers from a number of Asian countries, brought them to Cocos to harvest the, uh, the coconuts and uh, that's, you know, the remains of that industry are very much are alive and well. Are they really? Malay people that live on the island. So you still grow coconuts and all that sort of stuff? Still grow coconuts, but yeah. definitely not for the industry that it once was. Okay, cool. Mm. So it's Cocos Keeling Islands. Where's the Keeling bit come from? I'm sorry, I won't be able to answer that one for right, you right, right now. That's all right. That's okay. So it's Cocos Keeling Island. So where does the Keeling bit come the from? The Keeling's actually our point of difference. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of Cocos Islands. There are, the yeah, in the Caribbean. Yeah. Yep, so the Keeling is our point of difference. And it was after William Keeling, who's mm -hmm. one of the early discoverers of the island. So how many islands are there? 27 altogether. Mm -hmm. um, so you've got one island that sits to the north, and that's Pulu Keeling National Park, yeah. North Keeling Island, and that's managed by Parks Australia. Yeah. And then you've got the lower atoll, which is the main one ah. of 26 islands altogether. So this is all part of an atoll, atoll or atoll or whatever they call them and so it's in a ring in Correct. a circle pretty well Correct, yeah and Charles Darwin based his theory of coral atoll formation on the Cocos Keeling Islands. Are you serious? Yes yeah, so it's those layers of history that I was That's incredible about. that's mm. incredible okay so as a tourist now um, I get the impression that Cocos Keeling is a very experiential sort of place okay it's somewhere special it's different so what would people expect to see and do in Cocos Keeling? I guess people love to come to Cocos to enjoy their hobby so whether that be, you know, scuba diving, you can go to many different places so people would come to Cocos to scuba dive. Mm. We're very popular with kite surfers. We have very consistent trade winds and apparently with no holes in our wind, which is mm. very important for wind, uh, kite surfers. No wind holes surfers. in your wind. But you've got listed here, kite, surf, scuba, dive, snorkel, birdwatch, get married, relax, explore, swim, fish, canoe, surf, beach come, discover history, husk a coconut, play golf around the runway, experience Pocus Malay culture. What a broad cross-section. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. It's great. Oh, I mean, you can do everything that you want or you can do nothing at all. Mm. You can sit under a palm tree on a deserted beach and read a book if that's what you choose to do. Sounds good. Mm. But, you know, between Christmas Island and Cocos Keeling Islands, aren't you sort of like Australia's undiscovered paradise? Yes, yes, that's a good way. Well, maybe you said it in our next marketing. Yeah, campaign. good way. But you see, most people in Australia, um, I think Cocos Keeling particularly have never heard. Mm. Christmas Island they've heard because of the media mm. recently is on. And maybe Cocos Keeling uh, with the media as well. So how are you marketing the destination overseas? And I suppose overseas talking about Australia, because mm. you're still mm. a long way from Australia. So well, you're four hours flight from Perth. So. Yes, yeah, and I guess one of our biggest markets is Perth. Um, given that a lot of the population on West Island is um, Aussie ex it's an Aussie expat oh, pile, okay. so we get a big visiting friends and relative market coming from Perth, but we also get a lot of West Australians um, that have been to Bali a number of times, have ventured further into Asia, mm -hmm. are still looking for an experience that is, it feels like it's an overseas destination, yeah. but where it, in fact it is an Australian destination. 
Um, and, and Cocos is appealing to those people that are, have been to Asia and are looking for something that's a little bit different. So in terms of health, safety, security, all that sort of stuff, what you're saying is it's a very safe and health, healthy Beautiful. destination. It is. That is, you know, the keys are left in the ignition of your car. When you pick up your hire car from the airport, there's a sign on the dash that says, please leave your keys in the ignition. So where else would you get that sort of notice when you pick up your hire car when you arrive somewhere? <laughs> so. Jules, I think that's an awesome note to finish on. Look, thank you very much for your time. No worries. Um, I'm actually, as you know, going to Cocos Keeling Islands in the next yes. few days, and I'm yes. really looking forward to it. Yeah. And if the picture behind you, which we were sort of trying to, you know, sort of pretend that you were actually there, is anything to go by, it looks absolutely stunning, and I'm sure we'll have an awesome time. I don't know. Final thing, okay, where can people find out more information about Cocos Keeling? Um, on www.cocoskeelingislands.com.au. So that's www.cocoskeelingislands.com.au. Oh, that's right. Jules, thank you very much indeed, and I'm sure you can't wait to rush back. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, thanks very much, John. You're very welcome. Thank you. Okay.